How often as leaders, as motivated people, how often do you have to make opportunities out of nothing? You have to be so creative. That's your choice. That's your ability. You have to be so creative. Good for you for doing that because that's challenging the process. That's imagination. Hi, I'm Paul Vitale, founder of Vital Communications. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you and to say thank you for your time and interest in my services, either as a professional speaker, trainer, or facilitator. What I'm about to share with you are brief segments of presentations and trainings I've had the privilege to offer clients in the past. You know, over the years, I've had the distinct pleasure of working with a lot of people, from the boardroom to the classroom, and everywhere in between. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Now, I'd like to have the opportunity to work with you. So take a moment and watch this highlight reel. And in the end, I hope you'll give me the chance to visit with you about how together we can make your event a total success. All around the globe, corporations, associations, and universities have turned to Paul Vitale for his dynamic keynote presentations, seminars, and trainings when wanting to energize and encourage audiences to reach their maximum potential. Paul's abundance of enthusiasm, passion for life, and unparalleled ability to relate to individuals through his own personal experiences empowers his audience to act on the ideas and lessons he offers. Now, join Paul in action as he captures the audience with his entertaining and thought-provoking presentation style. In the business environment today and in our society, I believe that there are so many people who are so frightened to dream with courage. And the reason I believe these people are frightened is because no one seems to want to fail. Well, I guess we can all agree on this. You know, if we haven't failed at some point along the line, it's coming. If we're going to put ourselves out there, we're going to learn not only to succeed, but also to fail. So when I think about being courageous in our dreams, I'm going to stand in front of each and every one of you today in the corners of these rooms, and I'm going to say to you, go out and dream your dream and continue along the path you're walking. Because if you don't do it, who's going to do it? If I don't do it, what example am I setting for others? I know I'm challenged with one thing. And what I'm challenged with is to keep all of you awake this morning. I realize that. It's, it's guaranteed I like those glasses right there. That's good. I like this. I was speaking down in the great state of Louisiana, and we know there's a lot going on down there. We'll come back to that. But I was speaking down there months ago, and I was speaking at an auditorium, you know, 2,500 people, and I'm on stage, and they asked me to come in for a 7.30 a.m. breakfast, and they brought me in as this motivational speaker, and here I come. You know, here we go. Well, I'm standing on stage. And I'm starting to get going, and we're rolling through here, and there's this nice lady on the front row. And she's just smiling, just like many of you, and she's just taking notes. 15, 20 minutes into the presentation, I'm just getting after it. Oh, whoo. And I look over, and all I see is this. And I just see that neck, and it's just popping. And I'm thinking to myself at this speaker, I'm thinking, man, that's got to hurt. So here's the deal. And here's what I'm thinking. If this woman's going to go to sleep, I really have no problem with it. So eventually she went to sleep, and I'm thinking, oh, my. The problem came when she began to snore. So she's snoring, and I'm up here, and I mean, I'm going back and forth, and this woman's snoring, and I'm thinking, oh, look at the audience. They're all looking at her, and I'm like, I'm going to lose my audience to this nice lady. So I worked my way over to this side of the stage, and I'll never forget. I got down on her level, and I start speaking at her, you know, where she just gets louder and louder. She's snoring, and I'm thinking, oh, and she's louder. So I looked at this gentleman to her right, and I'm like, sir, could you bump her? He gives me that confused look. I'm like, could you bump her? He goes, hey, you bump her. You're the one who put her to sleep. <laughs> hey, but y'all have a good attitude, okay? Let me tell you. I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but... Uh... By the way, do not go down to a junkyard and find an old steering wheel. You'll probably get arrested, I'm sure. This nice lady, she's riding shotgun with her husband. They're going to the office. 
They pass another driver. She finds a steering wheel. She uses it. She goes, whoop, that other driver, whoop, influence. Every day we influence something. And if we take anything from this morning's presentation when we talk about live life like you mean it, please be aware of your influence. Because you are in an environment of business and influence every day. You're in an environment of changing people's lives because you're dealing with one of their most important assets, and that's money. And when you think about your influence, that's not arrogance. That's confidence in the fact that you're professional and that you know what it takes to be successful. Today is an opportunity. I believe that. We can talk about enthusiasm all day. We can talk about attitude all day, whatever. Bottom line is, after this conference is over, after we return to our workplace, after this quarter is over, after this year is over, we're all going to be remembered for something. As we walk out of these doors, I would ask you to think about this. When it's all said and done in this industry, what mark are you leaving behind? And how will you truly be remembered? Because that has a direct effect on our present and our future, and you play a big role in that. There's three things that I ask my staff at Hot Springs to consider. Here's the three things. First of all, when you come through this door, all I ask is that you have the right state of mind. Okay? Just have that state of mind that is somewhat positive. Try your best. And I know that's hard. It's very hard to separate that personal into professional life. It's very hard to leave it at the door. I'll be the first one to say it. That's the first thing I ask. The second thing I ask is be focused on your business. I don't know how it is in the insurance business, but let me tell you how it is in the hospitality business. Everyone wants to know what everyone else is doing, okay, all the time. And I've got all these nods, yeah, Paul, that's life. Well, it kills a team a lot of times. It will kill a morale. It will kill morale quickly. And I ask my employees, be focused on you. Reach out to others when you need to, when you can help them in a positive way. Otherwise, be focused on what you're doing. That's challenging every day for us. And then the third thing I ask, the third thing I ask is give me, give me the best work ethic that you know. Just give me your best. Because what we've talked about today is very basic. How do you motivate yourself? All you have is your name. The importance of your name. People are always watching you. You know, simply speaking, simply having a decent attitude, being enthusiastic. Treat people like they're having a bad day. I mean, that's how you move people. The power of perception. This is all fine and dandy, but it all comes down to this. You and I choose every day to live the life that we want to live. And when we get into customer service, I mean, you know this stuff. We do it every day, but it needs to be reinforced. We choose it. We choose to have this attitude every day. It's up to us. How do we really want to be remembered? When this conference is over, we're all going to go back to our homes. And we will all have had the opportunity to leave a mark on someone. We will all have had the opportunity to once again be heroes on the cutting edge. When your beeper goes off, when your cell phone rings, when you get called out in the middle of the night, when we get a big rainstorm like we had this past weekend, and all the water levels go straight up. It's going to fall on your shoulders to get the job done to make sure like people like me have clean water. And that's a great responsibility. It's a great opportunity, though, as well. So let me leave you this, with this one thought from President John F. Kennedy. And it's a thought that I try to live with each day. He would say, life was not designed as a prison in which man awaits his execution. You don't have to stay with what you have. You have the capacity for great achievements, great loyalty, and great love. So I would say this to you. If you want to help others, don't sell out short. Don't back away. If you have a song to sing, sing it. If you have a flag to wave, Wave it. If you have something to say, 
then stand up and shout it. It's your right. It's your experience. Heroes on the cutting edge. Thank you very much for allowing me to be here. Make today count. Thank you. Investing in a suitable speaker who's the perfect fit for your group